I think it was successful, and until and unless the, there will be follow-up to that uh, movie, uh, it will remain as as a as an open wound in in the United States as a scare tactic, uh, which in this particular case, I'm not sure whether KGB paid for production of that movie or not, but it's totally irrelevant. What is the most important? Unless, after seeing the tragic sequences of, of the uh, uh, nuclear attack, uh, American population is not explained what to do about it. If you still stop at that and l let it be, obviously, th this is the scare tactic, this is the greatest harm done to United States by, by Americans, by American filmmaker. I bet Andropov and all his disinformation uh, system could not, could not possibly do that much harm to United States. When, when you see something obviously sponsored by the Soviets, uh, you understand, well, this is propaganda. You may or may not agree with this depending on your background and, uh, and, and intelligence and education. But here, it's a subtle approach, uh, playing on the most sensitive strings of your soul, appealing to, to the most basic instincts of, of, of human nature, survival. But there, there are no answers. How to survive? Well, obviously, disarmament is not the answer, uh, simply because some people naively expect Andropov to blush uh, out of shame and reduce the number of warheads. Uh, it doesn't happen this way. This, we are facing unresponsive, irresponsible group of people for whom uh, nuclear war is not a theory, it's a practice, and the, the military strategy of the Soviet Union is designed to, to do nuclear war and to survive and possibly to win. I, I, was, I started my military training when I was six or seven year old when I when I entered secondary school and I graduated in 63 after almost 15 years of continuous training as a junior lieutenant of reserve of the Soviet army and uh, psychologically every Soviet citizen is well prepared for for, for war nuclear war and uh, technically he is equipped with facilities and the knowledge how to use it in case of war or, or natural disaster, doesn't matter. Survival tactics and survival um, methods are taught extensively in, in various manners. They, they, they are exposed to documentary movies about nuclear war. They know the, the technical data of, of radiation or, or contamination of, of air and, and land. They know the organizational patterns of, of civil defense to such an extent that even if there's no nuclear attack, even if there's a conventional uh, warfare, each individual at, at a certain time knows exactly where to go, what to do, where is the shelter, uh, whom to call by telephone, uh, which is not the case, unfortunately, in the United States. I think if, if a bomb, ordinary bomb, bomb, maybe a stink bomb is dropped in the middle of Los Angeles, most of the people will not die of uh, atomic radiation, they will die of panic. They will, they will run and uh, the traffic jams and, 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 and the panic will kill more people than, than any, anything else. And where do they go? Is, is, is there any literature about how to protect an individual? Is the f medical first aid treatment? It, it's not taught to, to, to kids in the American colleges, unfortunately. For example, there's obvious uh, tension in the world. Uh, t television newscasts um, inform American family about happenings in, in uh, East and West Germany. And only at the last moment they decide to bring the canned food down to the basement. It's a sheer idiocy. Why not to have them in the basement at, the, at peacetime? Uh, number two, there's, there's very realistic picture of what happens uh, when the first nuclear bomb strikes uh, a big city, Kansas City, I think. And people uh, a, a big panoramic uh, picture shows almost an ant hill when you know people are disoriented totally. That would produce love in Russia, because unlike that, Soviets know exactly what to do. There will be much less panic, if, if, if at all.